<laughs> we want to welcome their friends that came down from uh, Philly, New York, Harrisburg, wherever, you know. Uh, it's, it's great following the man of God because when you have that kind of hunger, God rewards that kind of hunger. So it's something special, you know. So, um, you know, when I first read uh, Ben, uh, his uh, prophecy on Elijah list, I actually think Lance Walno reposted it as well. And when I was reading it, boy, it just captured everything in my heart about this season of greater glory, greater breakthroughs, greater miracles. And the key word in all of this thing was the word greater. Say greater. greater. That's what we want. Amen? Okay? Because God has so much more. And we can't plateau. We can't stay stagnant and just say, like, I've arrived. I saw this myself with the charismatic renewal in the 70s. It was like... It came to a certain place, and that, now we were looking in the rearview mirror. We're saying, remember in the beginning? You know, instead of saying, no, there's more. You know, say more. more. Yeah, so when you have a, a hunger, and that's why Jesus said, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for, for righteousness. I mean, we'll be satisfied. So uh, these past six months praying into this word, I think, has created a hunger here at New Beginnings for more and for greater things, you know, and we're going to see them. And uh, we're starting to see them already, but, you know, we just believe that it was a divine appointment uh, that Ben came. I was sitting right here praying his prophecy when the phone rang and it was him. So I'm thinking, <clears throat> this, this could be a God thing. I'm not sure, you know what I mean? I don't have the greatest discernment, but I figured that out. That was a, that was a God thing, you know. So uh, we made arrangements from then. So, um, you know, we're so happy he could be here. And their guests so good. And they are the most wonderful people. We met them last night for the first time, and we had dinner. And it's like your family instantaneously. There our spirits just connected, and just such special, special Pastor Ben and uh, Ronald and Catherine. We just love you, and we're honored, so honored to have you here today. So uh, let's honor the true men of God and stand up and greet him. Yay. Let's pray for him. Ben, come on up here. Just extend your hands. We want to we pray for Ben. Father, we just thank you for your servant. We thank you for your son, Lord, in whom you are well pleased. And Father, we see how the enemy uh, was trying to steal his sleep and other things out of his heart and mind, Lord. Uh, I just rebuke that assignment now in Jesus' name and pray for supernatural strength, supernatural clarity, just keen discernment, Lord. And Father, just anoint him with fresh oil right now, Lord God. Let your, let your uh, spirit just fill him as never before, Lord. And let there be such a kingdom deposit in him, Lord, that he could release to us, Lord. Thank you for the humility of your servant as well, Lord. I just pray, Lord, that you said if we humble ourselves, you would exalt him. So exalt your servant in our midst today uh, through releasing the greater things, Lord God. We believe in greater things today, Lord. And we even pray that as uh, your servant, your son ministers, Lord God, he will, he'll be reaching heights that he hasn't even known before, Lord God. So we believe in those greater things, even for him, Father. So we just commit this time now to you, Father, in Jesus' name. And everybody said, amen. And amen. Hallelujah. Uh, praise God. Thank you so much, Pastor Tim and Pastor Beth. Can you give them a round of applause? Amen. Oh, uh, bless us. Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> Truly, time is too short. Did you have curry, ma'am, this morning? Did you have some curry or something? No? I smell like curry. <laughs> no. you smell? Yeah, coffee. All right, praise God. <clears throat> I, I love what Marilyn Hickey said. Uh, she says that uh, when she was asked, what does she have for breakfast? Uh, by my pastor, Pastor Benny Hinn, uh, she said that she just declares the word of the Lord every single morning and has coffee. Does anybody know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, some of you are having coffee, but your declarations need to go up, amen? Because the Bible says you will eat the fruit of your mouth. Praise God. So if you're not enjoying what you're eating, maybe you need to change your speech. Because it's always going to come back around. And I'm telling you today and in this season, we're actually seeing a full circle. We're seeing a full circle of the full rewards of the prophets of God. So things are coming back around, and even as impeachment has backfired, there is a boomerang effect that is cleaning the house more and more and more. Some will say God is cleaning the house. I'm telling you right now, there's a boomerang effect. Bam! There's a boomerang effect that is taking place and that is happening. And so the Lord is cleaning the house. 
All right, amen. Does, is anybody happy about that? And, and not just in the U.S. government, but in the government of the church as well. In the government of the church as well. Not just in the U.S. government, but in the government of the church. That's why we are seeing a removal of Vashti's. We are seeing a removal of, uh, you know, the Nebuchadnezzar. We're seeing a shift happening right now where Vashti was removed and a guess who came up? Esther. Do we have any Esthers here in this place? And of course, Haman was trying to set up a, a model of destruction to destroy and hang Mordecai. But guess what? It backfired. I'm telling you right now, every demonic attack is backfiring in Jesus' name. You better tell that pain to leave your body. The devil came to the wrong door today. You better step down the aisle. You better go down to the next street. You better go down the neighborhood. Come on, this belong, does not belong to the bloods or the crypts. It belongs to Jesus Christ. Fire. When you come to the door, you know I don't only believe in second amendments. I believe in the power of the word of God. I believe in the power of the Holy Ghost. So everything's backfiring. What Vashti tried to do, she got removed. Praise God. All right, all the Jezebels are being removed. Someone say hallelujah. Come on, stop acting like you don't got a Jezebel, a Jezehel in your life. Come on, because if you truly move in a prophetic anointing, if you truly move in the spirit of Elijah, which is the end time spirit, if you truly move in the Holy Ghost, then there will be Jezebels in every single season. But every Vashti is being removed. <laughs> And, and every Haman that tries to set up modes and models of destruction against you, it's going to backfire. Haman tried to hang the man of God, Mordecai. He set up a gallow to hang Mordecai. But guess what? He was hung. And Mordecai was honored before all. I'm telling you today, you will be honored before all. Nobody hears me today. Don't be offended. Don't be offended by the word I just said earlier. This is the Bible. You will be honored before all in Jesus' name. Every demonic device, every demonic trap, every demonic entrapment, it will backfire and it will be used on their own heads. Fire. And you will be raised up, lifted up, and you will be honored before all men. I'm telling you, the days of America, the, the greater glory days in the United States, it is far beyond. We are living in those days right now. We're living in those days right now from sea to shining sea. This is just the beginning. You believe that? This is just the beginning. If you believe that, say amen. Listen, I'm believing for miracles today. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm believing for greater miracles today. Amen. So I want to start off with that because that's my introduction. Because I had to address some things in the spirit first. And you know, I couldn't sleep last night. I had a feeling when we were driving in from Philadelphia, which, which is wonderful. It was my first time in Philadelphia, first time in this whole area. I love it. I love it. You know, above the cheese steaks, you know, above, uh, you know. But really, there's something in the atmosphere. And uh, as we were driving here in town last night before we met with the pastors for dinner, I, I told them, I said, man, I feel like I'm going to have trouble sleeping tonight. And I had a shot of espresso, so that wasn't it. Okay, because, you know, I had, I had lobster rolls and I had two, uh, one and a half cheesesteak. We had cannolis and, you know, we were on a foodie run. You know, and then we had dinner with the pastors one hour later. So I had a little shot of espresso. Someone said, give me a shot, Jesus. Come on, you just punch your neighbor on the shoulder and say, give me a shot, Jesus. Bang, bang, bang. But I told them, I said, man, I feel like I'm going to have difficulty sleeping because I felt there was electricity in the atmosphere. I felt that there was an urgency and an expectation in the atmosphere. And trust me, every single week I'm traveling in a new city, new state, new country. All right. And I like my sleep. I need my beauty sleep. Trust me. All right. I need my beauty sleep. Hallelujah. Bless you, man. I need my beauty sleep. But I knew that the Lord was probably going to deal with me and deal some things with me in my spirit. And one of the things I kept feeling uh, that I needed to talk about today is uh, about the prophet Bob Jones. You know, and we're going to tie it in. We are going to go into the Bible, the word of the Lord. Uh, but, you know, the Lord kept just highlighting literally all night. I kept seeing the face of Bob Jones. 
above me. And I don't know about you, but, you know, I believe we can connect or we can see, we can have experience and encounters with a great cloud of witnesses. Okay? And listen, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be this weird type of teacher today or anything, but, you know, we're going straight to the Bible. And we're, we're talking about what is available to us today and how God can speak and still move. Amen? All right? So all night, I just kept seeing the face of Bob Jones. And, uh, and you know, February is a very important month because this is my birthday month. <clears throat> it's a very important because I was born. Hallelujah. <laughs> and if you ask when I was born again, I was born again in October uh, 30th. 2009 okay i used to be a drug dealer i used to be involved in gangs my dad is a pastor i was a backward backslidden wayward pastor's kid you know that story but that statistic is being destroyed okay one of the things the lord kept telling me is is expect three big things number one that the prodigals are returning the prodigals are returning and if you want your prodigal child to return, you got to ask yourself, do you have any prodigal attitudes in your own heart? The reason why a lot of our kids are not on fire is because we're not on fire. Are you offended yet today? Are you offended yet? <laughs> can, we go, can we go farther? Can we go deeper, higher? Okay. Bang, bang. So number one, expect the prodigals to return. Number two, expect your ideas to be restored. Your ideas, clarity, sound mind. The witchcraft, the demonic confusion of all the fake news and all the media and all the noise and humbuzz, what it tries to do, it tries to entrap and destroy the sound mind in your spirit. It tries to confuse your conscience, so now you begin to do and act things that you were never created to do. You go against your conscience, but now because the culture says it's normal, now you begin to follow the ways of the world. But God is restoring your ideas. Those billion-dollar ideas... Nobody hears me today. Let me try. Those million dollar ideas. God is restoring those ideas because each idea is attached to millions and billions of souls. One idea, it's not just about dollars, but we're going to get into that. But each idea is attached to influencing and reaching millions and billions of souls. One idea can change everything. You follow me. So number one, God's restoring the prodigals. We know that the prodigals are coming home. I declare that now. Before you die, you will see every single prodigal in your family return. Some of you are acting like you got 30, 40 years. Come on, don't be playing. You know you're a baby boomer. I'm telling you, before you pass off to glory, you will see the greatest signs, wonders, and miracles that you have ever seen in your life yet. You will see every single prodigal come back to the Lord Jesus Christ. Fire. And they will be even more on fire than you ever thought and dreamed that was possible, was imaginable. Number two, your ideas are coming back. Your conscience, your sound mind. Come on now, you, we were never meant to be bogged down by a spirit of confusion. We're meant to have open heavens over our lives. 2020 vision, 2020 clarity. I'm going to need my mic just a little bit louder because I don't want to expand my voice, okay? Yeah, I know it may be a little harder on people's hearing, but thank you very much. Yeah, I, I need that. Otherwise, I, I, I might stretch my voice too much. ha <laughs> ha. And every idea is attached with angels. The reason why there's so much demonic warfare over your success, over the seeds, the thoughts of your mind, is because there are angels that are attached to it. So when an idea is released, when an idea is enacted, when you begin to write down the word and begin to move upon it, then angels are released. I'm telling you, this is a warfare not just over your body or your dead body, but this is a warfare over the thoughts and the mind and the seeds of the Lord. So sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. You follow me yet? Angels are attached to every single idea. Shake it. And I declare right now, mission will not be aborted. Fire, fire, fire. I just fell right there even as I said that. There's somebody here where <laughs> you have been having some miscarriages. Okay, I'm going to declare somebody here. All right? Yeah, if that's you, just stand up right now. 
Yeah, praise God. Yeah, if that's you, just stand up. Yeah, I believe there's somebody right here. I'm feeling that. All right. Even as I talked about that word abortion, I just felt in the spirits. Thank you. Praise God. Yeah. Is that for you, man? Were you standing in proxy? Your children. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I want you to put your hand on your belly there. And anybody else, I, I really felt the anointing on, on this side as I said that. But anybody else here, like you've been having miscarriages. I know that this is a Holy Ghost revival atmosphere. So babies are being born left and right. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. But anybody else, you wanted to stand in proxy for that. Father, I rebuke every spirit of death. I rebuke every generational curse. Forgive them, Lord, for any of their sins they've committed willingly and unwillingly. Knowingly and unknowingly. And Father, I declare right now that even by this year, that they will see a miracle child. By this year, they will see a miracle child. Reverse the curse. Now, now, now in the womb. I declare life, life, life. Bang, bang, bang in Jesus' name. Now, fire. He declares you to be fruitful and to multiply and to have dominion. So, Father, today, let your hand of the Holy Ghost, let it come upon every womb and let it manifest. Even as the Holy Ghost hovered over Mary and even over Sarai, that impregnation of the Holy Ghost. Come and kiss them now, Jesus, now. Nothing is impossible. We receive that now in Jesus' name. So say amen. Praise God. Y'all may be seated. This is wonderful. And then the third thing, prodigals, ideas, and a what? Has anybody been following my words? Anybody? Yeah? What's the next thing? Someone tell me. It's wealth. The wealth of the wicked is restored to the righteous. So when prodigals, when souls, when sons and daughters, fathers and mothers come back to the Lord, then ideas are restored. Okay? which is the kingdom law, all right? First, the families, the people come, and then the law, the order, the word of the Lord, and then the wealth begins to come in. We are in the greatest days of wealth. Thank you. Don't worry, I brought my own crew to shout you down today. We are in the greatest days of wealth, and that's even something I'm going to talk about today, about the kingly anointing about how David shifted and he upgraded from just being a prophetic worshiper and a prophetic psalmist to moving in the kingly anointing. Because that's the days we're in right now. So when souls come back, ideas return. Come on, somebody better praise Jesus. You're acting like you're already rich. You're acting like you're happy at your nine to five McDonald's job. Stop lying in the church. You act. Come on, you know you don't like your boss. Yeah, you love him and you pray for your enemies, but you're like, oh, Jesus, get me out of here. Please rapture me. <laughs> so, the third thing that will be released is wealth kingdom economy, kingdom wealth. <laughs> the devil does not want you to be rich. Do you know why? Because he wants your children to be poor. The devil does not want you to be rich because he wants your children to be poor. So what if you live on, uh, 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 on welfare right now? So what if you're having a free handout by taxes by the U.S. government right now? But what about your children? Uh, somebody say, preach, Pastor Ben. My gosh, I know there's some people that you've been broke, you've been hungry, you've been crying out. But God has said, I'm breaking the spirit of poverty. I'm canceling debts right now. I declare by the word of the Lord that debts are being canceled over the United States of America. You know, I lived in India for three months. I'll be in India next month in March. I've been to India, and it was, it was one of the worst things I've ever experienced when I lived there for three months. Getting bed bug bites every single day. You know, I'm Korean, so Koreans have sweet blood. So every day I would wake up with, with 10, 12 mosquito bites, bed bug bites. It'd be hot and humid, staying in, in one room with 30, 40 other Indian men. No, don't, anyways, thank God those days are over. But the Lord taught me how to move forward in spiritual warfare. As the Hindu gods, the Buddhist gods, all these gods, everyone's a god, the land of millions and billions and trillions of gods. But the Lord taught me spiritual warfare. But India, so many people... 
because they're trying to get married, they have dowry systems, right? So therefore, they actually go into debt. But debt equals death. Financial debt is spiritual death. So, so many people in India, because they're in a financial debt, they commit suicide. They kill themselves. And you know what? Good for them. Because, all right, you took your own life. How selfish. But guess what? Now that financial debt is on your family. So, okay, you took the easy way out. Sorry. But you left that baggage on your kids. You left that baggage on that widow. But what did the prophet Elijah do? He came before the widow and he said, collect as many jars as you can because the anointing is about to touch your life. And when the oil overflows, you will not only have a debt that's canceled, but you will have more than enough. You will have more than enough. Not only will I cancel your debts, not only will I forgive your pardons, not only will I release you from all of your transgressions, but you will have more than enough. Oh my gosh. Somebody help me preach in this Baptist church. Help me preach in this Methodist church today. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. Yeah. Kaba ba ha ha ha. So whenever there's a prophetic anointing, there's prosperity. Second Chronicles 2020. Hear all inhabitants of, of, of Judah. Second Chronicles 2020. Nobody reads prophetic words. Nobody reads the Bible. Hear all inhabitants of Judah and Israel. Believe in your God and you shall be. Thank you, somebody. You shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall. Oh, shabba ba ba. All right, you're going to believe in a prophet but not in God. So you go for prosperity but you're not established. You want to you be prosperous but because you're not first believing God, you're going to follow any witch or any false prophet. So therefore you gain prosperity but you don't have an establishment in the Lord. Believe in your God and you will be established. Numero uno. Numero dos. Believe in the prophets and you will prosper. Slap your mama silly good. Cheese whiz Philly steak. Geno's is better. No, it's not. Pat's is better. I had both last night. Please don't judge me. Stop acting like you don't watch Gilmore Girls. Believe in his prophets and you will prosper. And then number three, what does it say? Somebody help me here. Believe, thank you. Well done. Son. Yeah, well done. Believe in his prophets and you will prosper. What's the third part of that verse right there? Believe in his prophets and you will prosper. What's the, what's the last part of that? I'm forgetting right now. That I'm asking a genuine question. I need help right now. Help me, Jesus. Excuse me? And Okay, what's, what's the last part? Talk to me. You'll be, no, 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 read, read the verse there. You'll be established, that's, all right, somebody help me, open your Bible, Second Chronicles 20, 20. Where, where's it on the screen? You'll be, oh, uh, you, you could go back, ma'am, or sir, and you will succeed, prophets and succeed. Judah, the line of the roar of Judah. What is Judah? Praise. All right, you got that right. Well done. But what does Judah represent? The kingly anointing. Wealth. Here's the thing. It takes a king to go against another king. A prophetic anointing cannot go against another kingdom. Judah, the roar of the lion of the tribe of Judah. The lion. The lion of the jungle. How is an antelope going to go against a lion? How is a gazelle going to go against a lion? It takes a lion to take out another lion. Kingdoms are at war right now. Release the roar in 2020, 2 Chronicles 2020. Release the roar of the lion of the tribe of the kingly anointing that lives in you. 
Believe in your God, you'll be established. And number three, believe in his prophets and you will prosper. But you need to have praise to be established. And you need to have praise to move into prosperity. So are you complaining or are you praising? Are you complaining or are you praising? And I'm telling you today, the line of the tribe of Judah, there is a jubilee anointing that's being released. Who, who, word, uh, excuse me, who read about the word of Bob Jones, about the Kansas City Chiefs? Amen? So funny because when I was at the healing rooms with Dutch Sheets and Chuck Pierce of Santa Maria, California, Julie Myers and the Campbells, the Lord gave me this word and I just began to prophesy about, uh, I gave a word about the 49ers, okay, and I'm not even a football fan, but I gave a word about the 49ers because they were undefeated in uh, last uh, November, December, and I gave a word and I said, and the Lord was speaking through me, and he said, watch what I will do with the 49ers, for they will be a sign unto California that, uh, that uh, from north to south, California will turn red. And that 1849, 49ers, that there will be another gold rush in California again. So just about three weeks ago, Julia Myers calls me, uh, uh, excuse me, Stacy Campbell calls me and says, Julia Myers just called me. And she said, didn't your Asian friend prophesy that the 49ers are going to win the Super Bowl? And I said, no, I never said they're going to win the Super Bowl. I said, watch what God is going to do with them, for it will be a sign. And here comes Bob Jones' word that's being blasted by Prophet Sean Bowles. Praise God. Because it's been 50 years since they won or since they even entered into the Super Bowl. 50. It's been 50 years since the Kansas City Chiefs even entered into the Super Bowl. Right? And this year, 50 years later, they won the Super Bowl. What does that mean? That means the prayer movement is coming into fulfillment. That means all the prayers of the saints and all the prophecies of old are coming into fulfillment this year. I'm telling you now that we are in a tipping point in America. We are in a tipping point here in the Philadelphia region in New Jersey. We are in a tipping point today because of all the prayers and prophecies and acts of obedience of our forefathers and mothers, patriarchs and matriarchs. So therefore we are in a tipping point from sea to shining sea. We are going to see a move of the apostolic chiefs and Kansas City is also known as what the heartland of America come on is your heart red or is your heart blue are you a dead man or are you alive in the Holy Ghost God is causing the red fiery flames of revival to manifest from the heartland of USA and it will spread I'm telling you today in Jesus name it will spread Someone say, it will spread. Someone say, Jesus is spreading me out on every single side. Someone say, hallelujah. hallelujah. Keep, engage, keep engaging with me, people of God. I, I'm telling you, we're, we're still in shallow waters right now. We're still in shallow, shallow waters right now. Probably by the end of it, bam, people are going to get healed. And, you know, I want to take home wheelchairs. I haven't taken home a wheelchair in months. I love taking home canes. I love taking home crutches, contacts. Glasses, braces. I'll take home any demonic evil vice that had been made by man to be a fake prop. I don't lean on a crutch, I lean on the cross. Rabo Shabaka Baba. I'm telling you, we're going somewhere today. So 50 years and the Kansas City Chiefs win. The year of Jubilee, last night, I, I just kept seeing the face of Bob Jones all night, okay? And it's interesting because, you know, one of the people in the cloud of witnesses I see very often is actually, uh, you know, more so Catherine Coleman uh, because, you know, I'm ordained by Pastor Benny. When he ordained me, I went down in the spirit, I actually saw Catherine Coleman. And the Lord said, you didn't receive from Pastor Benny, you received from the man. 
And even before that, you know, I had a reverence and an honor to Catherine Coleman because one of my spiritual fathers, Papa Bill Fowler, he's actually returning from China with his new China bride. He's in his 60s. But he just got married to a Chinese woman, and uh, he's coming coronavirus free. But he gave me the golden key to go to Catherine Coleman's gravesite. He taught me, uh, yesterday, last night, Pastor Tim and Beth, they're asking me, like, where did you receive impartations from? And Papa Bill Fowler is one of my main spiritual papas, and he gave me probably one-third of who I am. Revival history, impartation of the birthing mothers. I live in Los Angeles. Catherine Coleman is buried there. Amy Simple McPherson, Henrietta Mears, come on. There's something about the women of God that God's raising up in this hour. And every secure man will not feel intimidated, but every secure man will bless it. I'm going really gentle with you right now. I'm telling you. I only had three hours of sleep last night. This morning, actually. I'm going really gentle with y'all today. Shoo. So Papa Bill, he gave me the golden key to go to Catherine Coleman's grave. Now, okay, what's my theology? What's my, you know, uh, biblical theology on that? Well, we just go honor my great-grandma. I'm just honoring my grandma. You got a problem with that? Don't ever talk about my family like that. I'm coming in to honor my grandmama. She happens to be Catherine Coleman. The day she died, February 20, is the day I was born, February 20. And it's so interesting because all the Kansas City prophets that I so love, John Paul Jackson, he also died and passed in the month of February. Paul Kane, who was a spiritual papa to me as well, he also died in the month of February. And, of course, even Bob Jones, he died in the month of February on Valentine's Day. Three of the main and major prophets of the Kansas City prophets, they passed in the month of February. <clears throat> and although they passed on different years and different dates, they were all buried on the same day. February 22nd. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Isaiah 22, 22, I am giving you the keys of the house of David. Oh, my gosh. I thought I was in a prophetic church today. <clears throat> I am giving you the keys of the house of David. I'm giving you access to everything that's in your inheritance. Your intimacy is causing doors to open. Your love life is causing gates to open. I am giving you the keys of the house of David today. Listen, the reason why they couldn't open up the gates is because they didn't have intimacy. But because you love me, because you saturate yourself in a place of prayer and worship and intercession, I'm about to entrust you with these keys and open up your hands, all your ancient doors. Kobe Bryant had the number 24, Psalm 24. Come on! He see you as clean hands and a pure heart. Who can ascend the hill, the mountain of the Lord? God is releasing keys in his day, keys in his hour. He's saying there's a shift. Someone say shift. There is a shift that's taking place. But your intimacy, your abiding, your waiting has brought you here. 2020 is a year. We're launching forward. We're stepping in. The Lord's been telling me again, it's the year of all years. It's the decade of all decades. It's the fight of all fights. And it's the match of all matches. And we will see the man of God reelected again. And I agree with the prophet Hank Kuhneman, who's a friend of ours, that pants, Trump pants, retcom pants, will come back again in Jesus' name. Uh, recompense. Wreck them all, Jesus. Wreck them all and whack them all. Isaiah 22, 22, Lou Engel, Dutch Sheets. So many 
prophetic fathers that we love, they've been doing strategic prayer gatherings, releasings on 222. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? But, but in a while, they haven't, right? Because it's a different season. So now the Lord's saying, what are you doing with the keys? So now we see, in fact, last night, yesterday in Brazil was the scent. Did anybody feel the shift? Last night, yesterday was the send in Brazil. They had 140,000 Brazilians, Ali Farrell from the uh, Resting Place House of Prayer, good friend of mine from Jersey, he was there. So many different people of God, main, mainstream, mainline people, they're all there. Worshiping the Lord, Michael Cuyano, Daniel Cullen, you name it, right? They're all there at the send. And that's probably one of the reasons why I couldn't even sleep. Because there was so much angelic activity happening because of the scent. Why did they do the send in the month of February last year? Because in the honor of the passing of the mantle of Billy Graham. Because Billy Graham passed a few hours after my own birthday. I was born February 20th. I celebrated my birthday. I wake up and it looked February 21. A few hours later, Billy Graham passed home to be with the Lord. So one year later, which was last year, February, they did the first center in Orlando, Florida. And just yesterday, they did the center in Brazil. Don't worry. We're going to get personal to you. I know I'm releasing a lot of stuff. But it's kind of hard for you to track. Is it hard for you to track? Or your mind may not be taking it in, but your spirit is. The Lord will not allow any true seed, any true word to go to waste. Never. Your spirit is soaking it in more than your mind. Your mind be, may be offended. Your mind be, may be thinking about food. But your spirit is absorbing all of this. Because this is not milk today. This is meat. So now the mantle of Billy Graham is passed. And that's one of the reasons why I couldn't sleep last night, I believe. Because of all the angelic activity. Souls being won for the kingdom. President got saved. He was already saved, actually, but it was confirmed again, yes. In fact, Stacy Campbell, part of our board, they, they've been working with him for years. They call him the Brazilian Trump because he was a businessman. They've aligned with Israel, et cetera, et cetera. But as I'm talking about the sin and the souls being saved and all the angelic activity, why is this so important? Because February in the Latin means what? What is February in the Latin? It means febrarium, Okay. And febrarium in the Latin, it means purify. This month is a month of so much purifying fire of love that God is catching people up in raptures. God is catching people up in trances. God is catching people up in encounters face to face with God. That's why he took home these three major Kansas City prophets. That's why Isaiah 22, 22, February 2, 2, 2. Come on now. He's releasing keys. Because he's saying, I can trust you. I can trust you. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about, more about David here. Praise God. I'm going to talk a little bit about... Because last night I kept seeing Bob Jones in the spirit. And I declare right now that even from now to 2 to 2, we have two weeks left. Expect major shifts and increase. Expect major shifts and increase. From now to February 2 to 2, we have two weeks right now. And even me being here today is a fulfillment of prophecy. Okay. Yeah, you guys awake here? Me being here today is a fulfillment of prophecy. And I stand before you today as a sign and as a witness of where you are going in Jesus' name. Praise God. Someone say, praise God. <clears throat> I, I just one thing to, to, to say. Yeah, tomorrow. Say tomorrow which is actually today. Do you know what Hebrew month we're in, anybody? Hebrew month? We're in Shavat. S-H-E-V, 
A-T, Shavat. Someone say Shavat. Not Shabbat, Shavat. So we are in the Hebrew month of Shavat. And actually today to tomorrow is the most special day of the whole month. It's called the 15th of Shavat. It's called Tu Shavat. Someone say Tu Shavat. Oh, yeah, you didn't know you were going to learn some Hebrew today, did you? Okay, today to tomorrow, which is the 15th of Shavat, which is February 10th, right, to, today, tomorrow, is called Tu Shavat. And what this means is the new year of trees. This was when trees were planted again in Israel. And when there's new trees, it means there's new fruit. There's new life. There's new wealth. There's new economy. So this is actually a very holy day. They call it the Rosh Hashanah of trees. Okay? Rosh Hashanah, all right? They call it the Rosh Hashanah of trees because it's a new life that's springing up. So I don't think it's a coincidence. I'm actually here with you guys today, and then tomorrow we're crossing over to two Shavat. Hallelujah. What do trees stand for and represent? I'm sorry if you're eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, but trees represent trees of life. The desires of your heart will be fulfilled. Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but desires fulfilled is a tree of life. Today is Tu Shavat, which means the new year of trees, the tree of life. God is fulfilling the desires of your heart. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it now. Some say hallelujah. Come on, you say it's mine. No, turn to your neighbor and say, no, it's mine. Oh, I don't see any desperate people today. All I see is comfortable. Where's my desperate people at? Rebecca Baba, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Rebecca Tata. New trees of life in Jesus' name. New trees of life in Jesus' name. Someone say hallelujah. Come on, say I decree and I declare that this church will have new trees of life. Someone say I declare that my life is a tree of life in Jesus' name. Come on, give the Lord a shout of praise. Someone say hallelujah. Come on, act like you're in church today. Act like you are in New Beginnings Church today. Come on, I say New Beginnings, not Old Endings. Act like you're in New Beginnings Church today. Ho, shabba, ba, ba, ba. Yeah. Listen, I'm feeling the, the glory begin to come in. Where I, I can feel the metals begin to dissolve. I can feel the cysts beginning to fall off. I can feel the scales begin to fall. I could feel that weight come in. Listen, there's a reason why, and a lot of preachers don't understand this. Shout hallelujah. You know, it's, it's not just so that they'll feel good about their preaching. But when you actually do that, you bring corporate unity to bring a higher dimension of corporate glory. When you come into a greater corporate unity, you come into another level of the corporate glory, which means that we're going together somewhere as a corporate body. This is not just a personal one-on-one, -on -one, me to me, mano in mano type of event, but this is encounter corporately where we are the body of Christ Jesus. Rebecca, and I, I literally felt a whole new wave and dimension of the Holy Ghost. You could feel it. It's like an oily substance. I don't know about you, but I can see it. I teach on these things, on the seer realm, the seer anointing, on how I operate with the keys and how I open up different realms and rooms in the spirit. I'm doing a whole free webinar on 222. Come and join us. It's a free webinar. Someone say free. All right? You could join for free, but whether you walk it or not, that's going to be costly. But I literally felt right now the oil of gladness come. And I, I, lit, I can literally feel, especially in this side of the room, the Lord really likes this side of the room. 
because they're shouting you down. <laughs> yeah, 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 See, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, 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 whoa, yeah, bang, yeah, fire, 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 ha, 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 hey, bang, 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 oh, fire, 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 whoa, bam, thank you, Lord, fire, someone say it's mine, come on, say it's mine. Someone say, it's my family's in Jesus' name. Come on, give the Lord a shout. I remember, I remember one time this, I was somewhere, and this Asian girl comes up and says, in Orlando, Florida, I'll be there with Mark Sharona very soon in, in about a, a few weeks. And this Asian lady comes to you're like the only Pentecostal Asian I've ever seen. And I'm like, listen, I got 47 countries in me, okay? I've been to 47 nations in the last 10 years. All right, I got a little bit of U Ugandan in me. I got a little bit of Congolese in me. I got a little bit of South African in me. I got a little bit of Mexicano in me. I got a little bit of Filipina. All right, I got 47 nations on the inside of me. You can't figure me out. <laughs> yeah. Yay! <laughs> Fire! <laughs> Shoo! That's what we call tearing in the anointing. You pull it out. You pull it out of the spirit and you manifest it in the natural. You pull it out in the spirit. It's tangible, people of God. I have friends that have went to heaven and they saw gemstones and when they came back to earth, they had it in their hands. Whatever you see, it's yours. Whatever you see, it's yours. I'm telling you today as a man of God in Jesus' name, God is opening up your spiritual eyes. Open the eyes of my heart. Why hearts? Because heart has to do with purity and innocence and childlikeness. Open up the eyes of my heart. As my heart gets renewed by the blood of Jesus, not my old family's DNA blood, but as my heart gets washed with the blood of Jesus, you will open up the eyes of my heart, oh God. If your heart is clean, your eyes will be clean. If your heart is pure, your eyes will be pure. Oh, shabababaya. If your heart is bitter, all you see is bitterness. If your heart is cold, all you see is ice cold. If your heart is on fire. Ah, if your heart is on fire, then your eyes will be filled with fire. Someone say fire. Touch your neighbor say fire, 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 fire. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Bang, thank you, Lord. Ho, fire, yeah. Ho, fire, ho. Bang, ho, 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 I know why this side's hungry. They got the flaggers here. They got the dancers here. This side's hungry because they got all the dancers and the flaggers. They're desperate. Some people mock the, the charismatic movement and say, why are you shaking? Because I want God. Do you think I want to be looking like a, an embarrassing fool? You think, listen, listen, in, in my cognitive mind, I can't, but I want God. So I'm so hungry and desperate 
I'll do whatever it takes, even if it makes me look like an idiot. Somebody pray in the Holy Ghost right now. I declare every single spirit of infirmity to be bound today. Every single spirit of a lack to be bound today. All cancer be bound today in Jesus' name. Every single premature death assignment, I bind it now, 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 in Jesus' name. Every single written word against you is canceled. Every single doctor's report is canceled. I don't care about what they said. I rebuke that now in the name of Jesus. Now in Jesus' name. Come on, shout. I need to, uh, somebody flow on the keyboard right now. I got to flow in the Holy Ghost. Somebody flow. Come, come, keyboard, keyboard, keyboard. Somebody cut up, come on, pray, pray, pray. There's an open heaven in this place. Come on, worship the Lord right now. Come on, for the next 15 seconds, open your mouth, begin to worship the Holy Ghost. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Come on, pull on the anointing, pull on the mantle. I know with just one touch of his garment, I can be healed. I will be blessed. My life will change forever. I know with just one touch. Oh, I'm going to push past the crowd. I'm going to push past my emotions. Come on. This is my day of breakthrough. This is my day of salvation. This is my day of favor. I came here today for me, not for you. I didn't come so that you will feel good. But I came because I need God. I need Jesus. Rebecca Baba Babosa Baba Baba Babosa Baba Babosa Mandele Come on lift up your hands in this place right now Lift up your hands in this place right now Come on receive it right now You are receiving it in your spirit right now you are receiving it right now. Everything I said, I prophesied about. You are receiving it in your spirit, man, right now. Come on, shababobo. Come on, thank the Lord. Praise Him right now. Come on, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Come on, another 15 seconds right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, just flow, sister. Flow, young lady. Let it out from your heart right now. Prophesy from your heart right now. Yeah, baby, 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 baby. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Come on, worship the Lord. You're getting your miracle right now. You're getting your breakthrough right now. Come on, just press in for another 15 seconds. And watch what God is going to do. My God, my God. My God, my God.
worship Jesus in your own way right now. I'm telling you, some of you are being delivered from a spirit of offense right now. Some of you are being touched right now by the power of God. Come on, worship Jesus. Come on. Mandalene, worship the Holy Ghost right now. Worship the Jesus of Nazareth, our beautiful Savior right now. The lover of our souls. Worship him right now in this moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. lift up your hands right now come on just thank the Lord right now I want you to just receive it in the spirit right now you can literally feel the sealing of the blood of the lamb right now just thank him right now thank him right now in this moment that's right thank him right now I know the Lord is already here he's heavy in this place right now I'm telling you some of you are going to begin to experience gold dust and you're going to begin to experience the oil manifesting off of your face off of your hands different parts of your body all around you in Jesus name father I declare right now that you're healing these people right now this young girl had a word of knowledge before I passed the mic to her I yeah just lift up her hands right now <clears throat> because wow the Lord's gonna move so powerfully so powerfully I could feel it I could feel it. he's gonna move so powerfully he already is but I could feel the power of God. You know, it's different when you feel the anointing, when you feel the healing, and when you feel the power. I could feel the power of God. I could feel the power, the kretos, the dunamas. Like God is shifting your life today. 
in the name of his mighty son. He is doing it right now. He is doing it right now. Sing it out one more time. Miracles. Miracle. Yeah, sing it from your heart. From your heart. Just the voices, miracles happen. Miracle, miracle. One more time, yeah. Miracle. See, you're singing it till you believe it. You need to sing it till you believe it. Sing it till you see it manifest. Miracles, signs of wonders. Oh, miracles, miracles. Ha yeah. Thank you for the metal being dissolved, Jesus. And for the eyes being healed right now, Jesus. The rotator cuff, the shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want everybody to just lift up their hands right now. The Lord is moving right now, okay? I'm feeling the fire of God now. You know, fire melts and burns all infirmities, any uh, deformities, any things that do not belong in your body. It purges you. And I, I, now I feel the fire of God. And I'm telling you right now, some of you are being healed of infections. Some of you, those uh, metals are being dissolved right now. I'm telling you right now. You're being healed of some flu allergic, uh, uh, aller allergic symptoms right now. The Lord is healing people's bowels right now in Jesus' name. Yes, yes, young lady, you, ha you had something, right? I want you to share it. Yeah. I got a picture of the ears, and I think God is healing the ears. Amen. Do you think God is healing the ears? Left or right or both? Um, I guess... All right, I saw left. Praise God. Give her a round of applause here. <clears throat> okay, I'm, I'm going to begin to move right now in the spirit of God right now. All right, if, you, if, you, if that word was for you for the ears, I want you to just lift up your hand right now. Okay, and I know a lot of people come to our meetings and are like, it's so loud. I'm so sorry because your ears will be healed right after. Don't worry about that. So you got, you got pain or ringing or you cannot hear. Listen, blind eyes deaf ears, tumors, metals dissolving, that's my specialty. That is my specialty, okay? And yeah, if we want to go further, which I, I'm believing there's a realm for that supernatural weight loss, metals dissolving, that's my specialty, I'm telling you, okay? And I already told you that cysts and tumors are being dissolved right now, in Jesus' name. Even somebody with some uterus. Does anybody have like some a uterus type of problem, like a uterus type of cancer? Just wave your hand. If or somebody, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Lord's doing that right now in Jesus' name. Okay, yeah. Fire, yeah. Fire. Aha. And pain in the fingers. Somebody's right hand is being healed and restored right now. Listen, if 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 any of those words are for you, I want you to just lift up your hands right now. I'm telling you. Yeah, Lord, touch, heal, fire, fire. Fire, 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 fire. Now, 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 now. Someone say amen. I want you to begin to check your body right now. Check your body right now. I feel like we got to do a line of testimonies. And I'm not even done yet, okay? I'm not, after this moment of, of ministry, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep going on. But then after that, I'll actually do even more ministry. But yeah, wave your hand if you're feeling a shift, a difference in your body right now. Wave your hand, please. Don't be shy and no need to lie in the Holy Ghost. Yeah, just wave your hand if you feel a difference in your body. All right, wave your hand if you feel a difference in your body. Ronald, come here. Yeah, wave them high, please. Wave them high. Yes, ma'am, what's going on? I've been struggling with insomnia for so long and I just can't seem to sleep at night. And I just can't get rid of it <laughs> well, praise God I'm glad you came up because you, you, you're uh, looking for a miracle okay I want you to put your hands on your face right there everybody just stretch out your hands here 
Father, I rebuke the spirit of insomnia, any stress, any anxiety, anything from the medications, the pain meds, the pain and the past traumas. Now, fire! Right now, I come and I break every single yoke. I break every single yoke, all unforgiveness, does anything in the past, right? Power, thank you, Lord. I, uh, 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 thank you, Lord. Touch, touch, touch. Now, now, now. Take it, woman of God. Now, take it. I saw the Lord breaking those things off of your back, so I thank you, Jesus. Everyone say, I break it off. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. The Lord's touching your eyes as well. Okay, yeah, be careful, man. I, I need another catcher, just somebody to help with the flow here. Yeah, because, yeah, yeah. The Lord's even touching your, your eyes, your, your, uh, your back. I mean, just everything right now. I just even command right now. Okay, and I, I, I love your hunger. It is wonderful because I believe that, I believe in miracles. Real miracles. Not exaggerated, not fake, not hyper. Okay, not psychosomatics. I believe in real miracles real testimonials and documentation i believe in that power thank you jesus the lord's touching your knees right now as well what's going on ma'am evil is living in my home evil okay what's going on with you right now okay yeah and uh how's your body feeling your mind your brain all that right now you feel renewed yeah what's your name mary, mary? is there a like a shelly shelly here is there a Shelly, Shelly, Shelly? Wave your hand. Is there a Shelly? Shelly, I kept hearing Shelly here. Shelly, Shelly. Something like a Shelly, Shelly. Wave your hand. Shell, Shell, Shell. Anybody? Shell, Shell, Shell. Yeah, I, I, I almost saw like, like Cheryl or Shell. Uh, who's that? Who's that? Excuse me? What? Cheryl, okay, yeah, because I kept hearing that out as I was looking at you in this section here. Okay, yeah, the Lord has a miracle for you. Cheryl here too. Praise God, the Lord's got you. Got a son, ma'am? No? Yeah, who, who's a young man in your, in your family right now? Yeah, who's the one playing basketball? You don't have any children? I see, I see. Does that word make sense to you, ma'am? I keep, yeah. do you know this person on the left of you right here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I keep seeing a boy playing basketball, okay? Yeah, I thank you for that right now, Jesus, because the Lord's going to bounce some things back for you, okay? That word probably makes sense, but you just got to remember, recollect it. But the Lord's going to bounce some things back for you. No more rebounds in your life, but it's going to bounce back. No more rebounds. No more rebounds. It's going to bounce back. It's touching your knee right now as well in Jesus' name. So thank you. Bang, 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 bang. Fire, power, glory, restoration. What's going on, ma'am? What's going on? Okay, yeah, probably in this house, you know? Yeah, because that's what Parkinson's does, right? I mean, it causes... Everywhere I go. Everywhere. All right, all right, look. You believe in Jesus. Yeah, you love Jesus. Yeah, you feel that on your body right now? Yeah, fire, 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 fire. Fire! Bam, 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 bam! Ho! Okay, what's going on right now? See, I, I didn't even... Shaking. You're shaking, yeah. I didn't even want to want to do these. I actually wanted to go into the metals and the ears, but they're just pulling on me, so, you know. And I don't think it's a distraction. I don't think so. Yeah, ma'am, I want you to walk, walk, walk. Yeah, yeah, okay, you can. Yeah, just walk side by side, just in case, yeah. Yeah, ma'am, I want you to lift up your knees as well. Try to lift up your knees. Yeah, yeah, come side by side, side by side, yeah. All right, yeah. The Lord's touching your mind right now. He's touching your brain right now. I see the Lord touching your nerves right now, okay? He's touching your nerves, ma'am. He's touching your eyes. He's touching all of that that's been connected and infected right there. ra ba ba sa ba 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 How do you feel right now? Feel the Lord, yeah. Okay, yeah. 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 When was the last time you were able to walk that far? Do you do that often? Or you can do a little bit of that at home. Okay. You ready for another marathon? 
Yeah. I, I, what I'm doing right now is we're building a level of faith right now. I told you, I, I'd love to take this walker home. I believe in miracles, real, genuine miracles. I know the Lord's opening up ears and eyes right now as well. How do you feel, man? Yeah, I want you to take another marathon. Do another marathon. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, do you feel the Lord right now? All right, let him exercise through you. The Bible says exercise your faith. Listen, I want you to wave your hand if you're feeling a shift in your body right now, a difference in your body right now. I, all right, yeah. I want you to come here. I want you to like genuine, genuine. What's different? Yeah, I want you to come here. Yeah. There you go, ma'am. Some, see, come, what's going on with you? Yeah, with your friend Cheryl too. Yeah, your ear? I, I have a broken eardrum uh, and um, normally I can hear wind blowing outside of my ear when I, and I'm not hearing air flowing through the hole. So I'm and that was the right ear that the young little girl called out. And what's going on with your body? Because you brought the cane here. Wednesday night, she prayed, Lorraine prayed for my knee, and I'm walking on the knee, and I'm here believing for the foot today. Do you feel anything on your foot right now? Well, it's less pain, but I don't feel 100% healed. Say, Jesus, Say Jesus. I receive it, I receive it now, now in my foot and my body, my in Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. Look at me fire wiggle your, your right foot wiggle your right toes wiggle it wiggle it yeah can you just do that like what i'm doing yeah wiggle it then lift it up lift it up and wiggle it all right what's going on with your foot right now what's going on with your foot right now now it feels better okay i want you to walk do something that was painful or you could not do <clears throat> okay still hurts uh, is it less what's going on here yeah keep 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 going keep going don't stop just because you got to keep going, okay? That's the problem. A lot of times we stop right when, you know? But we got to keep going. Say no to the devil, and then you're going to break through. Well, yes, sir. What's going on? You're here, too? You're here to catch. Wonderful. Thank you. <clears throat> come here. Come here. Come here. What's going on? How do you feel right now? Okay, just lift up your right hand, all right? Yeah, the Lord's doing something here. I know he is. He's doing something with the whole church, okay? Because a lot of times, and I love it when I'm in a church with older people, because a lot of you guys have more pain, which means more miracles, honestly, which means more miracles. But sometimes the older we are, sometimes the more, you know, it, it, it can be harder to believe. And, you know, I know there's a corporate glory that God's wanted to manifest, Lift up your right hand, right hand. Father, I just rebuke all that. All unbelief, all the disappointments, all the betrayals, and the disappointments. I rebuke all that right now. <laughs> all right, yeah, I, I know, again, the two, three ladies are wonderful, but they're probably always the ones who come up first anyways. So, you know, I, I, okay, yeah, praise God. Come, come, come. All right, you guys are, I love this. Yeah, bring me the hard cases. Bring me the everything. Whatever. Amen. I take authority. Hello. How you doing, ma'am? What's your name? Diane. Diane. How you feeling right now? Excited? Yeah? Uh, amen. Praise God. Yeah, what's going on in your body right now? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because the diabetes... What, what's going on right now? As you just stepped into my office, what's going on right now? I'm just, I don't know. Do you feel something on your body right now? I can literally feel the Holy Ghost on your shoulders right here. I felt light down, like a, a spotlight on me. What do you feel on your on your left leg right now? Yeah, you want more heat? Yeah, because I see the Lord's actually just going to touch your whole left side. Okay? It's it's really like the left kidney and the, and all that. So now, Jesus, now. Listen, here's the thing. A lot of you guys, um, you know, I can't kick you out because it's not my church. But, you know, it's like if we're here together, let's extend faith together. 
Okay, like faith together. And that's why I love revival atmospheres because, man, it's like, then anything can happen. And, you know, it's like we're, we're almost there. I know it. And I know Pastor Tim and Beth, yeah, whoo, and his church does such a great job. But, you know, we, we got to increase it and bring it to a level, you know. And then it's going to just keep happening left and right, left and right, over and over and over again. All right, so what's going on right now? What's going on? He, yeah. yeah, he. You love the Lord Jesus? Oh, yes, very much. <sighs> Father, I pray new kidneys. Yes. I bind and rebuke diabetes. Yes. All body parts be healed, be yes. renewed, be restored right now. Yes. Fire, 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 fire. So, yes. Jesus' name. Someone say hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, say Hallelujah. Ma'am, what's going on right now? What's going on? Talk to me. Talk to me. Heat, heat in my leg. All right, what's going on? You feeling heat? All right, all right. You ready to stand? Uh, I'm scared of you. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, thanks for being honest. Yeah, you, you ready? Just get, get up. Get up. Just get up. What are you scared of? Falling? Well, we got people to help you, assist you. Baby steps at a time. I believe in miracles. I believe in miracles. Yeah, all right, ma'am, just wiggle your toes here. Wiggle your toes. Don't worry. Look at me. Ma'am, look at me. Look at me. Yeah, just wiggle your toes here. All right, just flow. You're, you're as light as a feather. You know that? Yeah, it's easy. Miracles are easy. Yeah, you, you feel the heat. You feel the anointing. You love the Lord. That's enough. The man has spoken. That's enough. All right? Yeah, it's easy. We don't need to, we don't need to make things difficult. It's easy. All right? Amen? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Wiggle your toes as much as possible. Move your feet around. Yeah, move your... All right, can you lift up your right knee? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. There you go. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. There you go. All right. Lift, lift. Yeah, a few more times. Come on, ma'am. See, here's the thing. It's like you haven't moved it or exercised in a long time. So it's like you're teach, you're learning to walk again. You know, it's like when a baby is walking, it's like you're learning to walk. So, you know, yeah. And you just got to reprogram your mind a lot of times. So, yeah. All right. Lift, keep lifting it up, man. There you go. Yeah. Praise God. Come on. All right. I want you to lift up your left knee. <laughs> Don't be scared, man. There you go. Come on. Everyone say lift up your knees. Everyone say, be healed in Jesus' name. We rebuke diabetes. We rebuke all pain. We rebuke all fear. Now, in Jesus' name. All right, give the Lord a shout of praise. Hallelujah. Look at me. How you feel? Yeah, you're working out. Wow. Wow. Wow what? Wow, I feel. Oh. 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 Whoa. Whoa. Well, what do you feel? I, I don't know. I just feel. And even now, we just we just repent, Lord, just from just any um, any things we've done to our body. Just you know, we just repent, Lord. You know, and I thank you. I receive that grace now. In Jesus' name, Amen. You you feel that? Yeah. Walk, walk. You got helpers here. Don't worry. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right, see, yeah, see, we're, we're the church of God. We're the church of Jesus. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Come on, don't be afraid, people. Yeah. There you go, yeah, baby steps, man, baby steps. All right, you said you're believing for a miracle, but you don't want to, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, man, come on. Sir. Can, can you pray? Let's pray together. I know you love your wife. Let's pray together. Shabbat Abosa. Come on, pray. Yeah, pray. Yeah, nothing's going to hold you back. Come on, man. Nothing's going to hold you back. Let the ivy of the blood of Jesus go in your foot. Let it go up your body. Come on. Rababa, blood sugar levels be healed, be restored. Yeah, come on. Ma'am, don't be scared. Just move. Just move. What are you what are you holding back for? Please just move. 
I know when the power of God is present. I know when the anointing is present. You just move right now. Don't hinder it. Don't limit it. Don't try to figure it out. Don't try to think about it. Just move. Just move. There you go. You're doing a great job. You got cheerleaders. You got prayer warriors. You got angels all around here. Mama, mama. You can move this a little, a little forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. You're doing great. You're doing wonderful. <laughs> yeah, come on. Everyone say in Jesus' name. Man, I want you to lift up your knees. I want you to lift up your knees. Lift up your, come on. Just like we were practicing. There you go. There you go. Come on. All right, man, look at me. You're too busy looking at the ground. Look straight. Look forward and lift up your knees and walk. It's normal. It's normal. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right. Come on now. Hallelujah. Someone say hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right, you may sit back down. You may sit back down again. Yeah, sit back down. So we're taking baby steps, all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to let you sit, and we're going to do it again. Sometimes you got to pace yourself. You guys okay here today? Listen, I really believe that God is opening up some things right now. And this is not just about a one-day service. This is about what's about to come. What's going on, man? How do you feel? Uh, I just feel like, wow. Uh, just, oh. Uh, yeah. See, you're getting your breakthrough right now. Oh, shabba, bo, 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 bo. Oh, it has been broken off of you right now. Fire, 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 fire. Now, 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 now. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah. Yeah. Praise God. What's going on, man? What's going on? I'm like, oh, oh, my arms are all tingly. And oh, all through my body. Just feel electric. Yeah, just receive it. Just receive it. Just receive it. Sir, I want you to receive it too. Just receive it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, we need you to receive it too. It's not fair if it's only your wife. She needs you to get whacked in the Holy Ghost as well. Rebecca Basa Baba Shoboso. <laughs> we must be equally yoked equally in the spirit not just in mind but in the spirit see some of you are really enjoying this some of you are not is anybody not enjoying this I know God's opening up a miracle dimension here. Okay, I didn't even want to do this right now. But he just said do it. And the hungry people just come forward. What's going on, ma'am? So, February 17th, 
Yeah, ma'am. You, yeah, what's going on, ma'am? God's got her. Yeah, yeah. I just feel speechless. Like, whoa. Just like, ugh. I just want to, like, ugh, scream. Yeah, scream then, scream. Someone say hallelujah. Are you ready for another lap? You ready? Come on, you ready? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love this. You ready? All right, come on. Come on, let's go. Yeah, they got you. Where's that other lady? She's doing a lap still. Or does she? Yeah, yeah. Well, as she walks, what's going on? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay my hand on you and pray for you. Yeah, Father, heal all metal. Touch your body right now. In every area. In Jesus' name. There it goes full healing, power, and restoration. There it goes now, 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 now. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Ow. All right, ma'am, you're doing a great job. This is taking so long, it's actually making me mad. Like, I'm, I'm mad at the devil right now. It's taking a little too too long right now. You got, What's going on with your neck? Yeah. When you were uh, speaking metal and she put her hand on my neck, I felt really intense heat in my neck. And I was extremely stiff all week. And I'm just, I have my mobility, my mobility back. Move it, move your neck. I was very, very stiff all week and in a lot of pain. And I'm, it was so hot. Do you have like plates or screws or anything like that? Or? There are wires that are like red tied, if you will, around my vertebrae, plus a mesh of wires. And also, I was told about six or eight months ago, because I had a, a trigger thumb, my thumb was completely stiff. Yeah. And it, I, I have foam movement right now. And I feel like there's oil in my hands. There's oil in your hands. Yeah. It smells like cookies. You like cookies? I love cookies. <laughs> you said you couldn't move your thumb. My thumb would just, it would just be stiff. And now I can actually bend it. How long has that been? About eight months. Eight months. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't pick a lot of things up. Can you move your neck? Oh, yeah, my neck is like... No, move it, move it, move it, like move it, move it. Yeah. Yeah, praise God. Bam, 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 bam. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you. Todd White anointing now. Thank you, Jesus. What's going on here? Um, when I was 21, I was assaulted. And my uh, lower mandible was shattered in 13 places. And it's all metal. I, I knew I felt that metal so strong. I could literally feel it when it began to melt into air. And I've had just a horrible spirit of rejection on my life since it's happened. It's been 20 years. And I went to Bethel to get healed, and I just didn't have the courage to go up. You have the courage to come up today. Yeah. Why do you have the, what made you want to come up today? He loves you. He's so desperate for you and your miracle that he gave his son. Put your hands on your neck there. That, that's where the pain is, right? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Father, I, I, I release the power of Jesus right now. Now. Power. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to come back to this. And then after her, I might. All right. See, look at that. People are just popping up left and right. Yes. How are you doing, ma'am? What's going on? Talk to me one more time. I'm just, my head, I'm just claiming the mind of Christ. Because I've had, uh, I haven't been able to read a lot. And I used to, I was an avid reader. 
that I have. I have. You're going to read my book, okay? You're going to give me your honest opinion. Okay. <laughs> What's going on with your body right now? How do you feel right now? My body, my hands are tingling, 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 my arms. And this, this yeah. leg's fine. This leg is like tingling. Yeah. Like something's going on. Yeah, that means it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Yeah. It's a real good thing. Oh, yeah, it's a good thing. Good thing. Yes. Sir, you believe, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Absolutely. But exactly, what do we believe? That's, you know, because, yeah, yeah. So, even now, okay, I'm believing even as you return to your seat, whatever, just let the Holy Ghost move on you and minister to you. He's going to continue it. Yes. He, like you never saw it. What? That back is sucking like you never saw it sucking before. It's a wound back. It takes out the poison out of your foot. It's like really pumping. And what does that mean? That means it's a good thing. Pulling the infections. Pulling all the infections out. Yeah. All the devilness. Yeah. Everyone say pull. pull. Come on, say pull. pull. In Jesus' name, praise God. All right, you, I'm, I might even have you walk around one more time. All right, man, all three of you or just her? All right, all right, what's going on? What's going on? I love this, yes. Shoulders really been bothering me, and I don't know why. Like it is, and I was trying to test it out, and exactly when I was testing it, you spoke about rotator cuffs and shoulders. So, I want the Lord. I mean, it feels better, but I want. I believe that He's going to finish that healing. That and um, you're talking about He's restoring a sound mind. I've been struggling with um, compulsive, fearful, crippling anxiety thoughts for years now, and I'm ready for it to be done. So both. Give me your right hand. Look at me. Father, thank you. It's leaving now. It's never returning again. It's leaving now. It's never returning again. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Up your right arm to your right rotator cuff, your right shoulder, all throughout your body. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> and give her the promotion she desires. Yeah, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Ha! Yeah. Now, in Jesus' name. Yeah. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. It's on your knees right there. It's on your belly. It's on your knees right there. Now, 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 in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. What's going on? What's going on? burning or <laughs> burning from me testing it out you know how's it feel as you're moving it um sorry i don't want to smack you i got it it feels better it still feels like it gets stuck or something it's right here but it feels better move it one more time it's better it still feels a little bit funny but it's better say it's better it's better say it's done it's done. Look at me. Just breathe. Breathe in your healing. There you go. Move it again. What's going on? Better. It feels better. It feels better. And I believe that God's going to finish it. Father, touch her now. Now, now. Bam. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. There it goes. Jesus' name. The Lord's going to sit on you like an angel. I want this one to come up. And then um, this is wonderful because I don't want to do all this right now, but who knows what God's going to do. Yes, what's going on, ma'am? And again, I love that all of you guys are coming up. It's wonderful because you're pulling on me. But, you know, I asked for the ones who have the uh, testimonies already to come up, you know, but it's wonderful. Yeah, hello. What's going on? Um, well, I was, I, I, I had a, like a click where the bone originally shattered it feels like i felt i felt something growing inside felt something growing yeah, i felt like the bone re reconnecting what? and the ligaments yeah. being restored and i felt my teeth that have been grinding for 20 years start to grow wow. and i feel like my body is just coming back to life 
feeling the bones fuse back together. You're feeling bone? I don't even know how that feels. Like, talk to somebody. What, what does that mean? What does that mean? Um, I, I don't know. There was a separation. There was a separation in the bones, and the metal was there. I don't know if it's there anymore. Yeah, that's right. yeah. um, but there was a separation where each plate held the bone together, and I feel like there's, like, a fusion where 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 <clears throat> did you f did you feel metal did you feel metal what's going on now it's, it, it, it's not there what's not there the, the metal it, it, How did, I feel the bone coming back together I feel I just feel like there's a fusion of the bone just being brought back and you're gonna you're gonna it apart the metal was holding the what apart the bone it was keeping the bones from each other because it was what was holding it you love jesus your life will never be the same again after today he's giving you the desires of your heart and i bring that man in right now in jesus name i bring that person in right now in jesus name i thank the holy spirit dream life dream life all right, yeah, I want to pray over a few more people, and then we're going to move on here. Yes, ma'am? You need healing. All right. All right, yeah, all the cancers stand up. All the cancers stand up. All. Yeah, you, you could do that too. If you have cancer, or if you know somebody who has cancer, I want you to stand up right now. All right, yeah. Father, I come against the spirit of cancer. I cancel the spirit of death. I thank you right now that you're healing. Touch her now. With the cysts and the tumors. Did anybody here have a cyst, a lump, or a tumor? Wave your hand. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I want you to check it right now. Check it right now, okay? I've seen so many tumors and cysts. And oh, thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, now, 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 now. Show. Thank you, Jesus. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. I want all of you people, ladies, to check the lump or the cyst, whatever. Check it, check it. What's going on? What do you feel? Do you feel the difference? What's going on? What's happening? Something moved in there. It's, it's smaller. It's what? Something smaller. It doesn't feel as hard as, or as, as it was. It's something moved. Something moved, something smaller. It's not as hard. No, mm -mm. no it's not. It's not. It's not as hard. Somebody praise the Lord. Say right there. How about you, ma'am? You okay, Senator Pro? What, what, what's going on with you, ma'am? These two ladies here. What's going on with you, ma'am? With the baby? You, you, you waved your hand because you had a yeah fire. I rebuke that right now in Jesus' name. Fire. You're gonna feel the burning. What's going on, ma'am? Oh, you're so precious, huh? side and they took it out and uh, then they checked it afterwards and it was gone but, but then the doctor said the lymph nodes start to regrow again and they did a little but one of the speakers that was here you know did like you did to say go away whatever and it went away but then it came back small. And What's going on right now? Do you feel anything? I have to go. Okay, go, go. Go check it then. Yeah. Go check it, ma'am. Yeah, bless you. Amen. It's a groin. Do you, do you feel anything right now, even as you're touching it? Do you feel anything? No. No. N-O? Like you know that you know that it's a no. It feels like there's nothing there. feels like there's nothing there. So you don't want to go to the bathroom. You're going to check anyways, but it feels like there's nothing there. It's there. I, I'm, I'm sure that it's gone. And, and the last time... How big was it? Well, there were two. One was like that, and the other one was little. It was a quarter, one was, yeah, I don't even know what that is. Like a pea size, the little one. Both of them were there. We're in the same space. And now you don't feel it. 
they took them out when they did the cancer. But then the doctor says they regrow, but they can come as cancer containing. Or okay, but you don't feel it now? I don't feel it. And it was, it was like this and this. No, it shrunk before, and the doctor confirmed it because I told him to feel it. I said, we've been praying about it. Put your father 100% bang, 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 now, now, now. Every part now, now, now will never return again. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, man. Just another minute. Yes. What do you need healing for? Okay. Yeah. Can you breathe right now? Breathe. Okay. Can you breathe right now? Breathe. Yeah. There you go, through your nose, through your nose. Expand. Lungs be healed, expand. Do you feel that on your legs right now? It feels warm, yeah. Okay, your legs are swollen, right? That's what you said. What do you feel right now? Especially the left one, right? Because that's where the, the tumor was or the cyst. So what's going on right now? <laughs> what's going on right now, ma'am? How do you feel? What's going on? You can't move? Like, at all? I can just stop. It won't move. It won't move? It feels numb or it something. Numb. Oh, it's shaky. It's shaky. Oh, you probably just need to rest in the glory because the Lord's touching you right now. Ho! Ho! Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're so precious. I'm here. I'm here. It's okay. He, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> huh? More than I could hope for. What is? You. Thank you. You know, you're not, you're not my type. I'm sorry. But, uh. Huh? It's an old rat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep receiving, man. Keep receiving, all right? You just keep receiving there. See, I told you. See, I'm losing the whole section over there. Well, all right, what's going on, man? God is good. I'm healed. <laughs> I'm healed. I'm healed. I receive it. How do you know you're healed? Mine. It's mine. Healing is mine. I wish everybody had faith like you. You need to release that. Release that faith. Yeah, release that. Christ. Somebody told me that coming in. Hallelujah. And the cyst, it's gone. It's, it's, it's getting it's smaller. It does not feel as hard. So I praise God. Let it fully, put your finger there, right where it is. Father, dissolve 100%. Now, 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 now. There you go. Wow. In Jesus' name. Bless you, ma'am. How are you feeling? What's going on? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, good. I, I told you, I saw an angel sitting on top of you, like the Lord sitting on top of you. All right, one more. What's going on? I've been struggling with homosexuality for most of my life, and I'm just like ready for it to leave. And about a month ago, I had a, a vision here at church that there'd be a group of mothers that came around and prayed for my deliverance. Oh, amen. oh bless you. Yeah. Can we, can we have some, some mamas just come surround this lovely young lady? Yeah, just love on her because love breaks the yoke. Oh, look at that. You got a whole group of mamas around you. Look at that. This is a fulfillment of prophecy. Huh? I, I felt something in my hand. I had come here, come here, come here. Okay. And yeah. I started feeling um, a release. Started feeling like it got getting looser. Yeah. Amen. Years ago. Yeah. How's your fingers now? Better. They're doing better. So now I'm just, I just can't snap yet. When's the last time you were able to? Uh, about 10 years ago. And you're snapping now. Uh, almost. Almost. Amen. Yeah, you will. You will. Woman of God, yeah, just release the love. I feel like we need to release love. Just release the love. 
Yeah, I feel like Pastor Tim, I, I feel like you need to pray over this young lady here. Yeah. Father, I just thank you for the power of truth. And we crush the demonic lie that would rob her sexual identity now in Jesus' name. And the Lord would say to you, I didn't tell you, I didn't tell you that. That was the enemy who told you that. So I crush the lie of, of same-sex attraction right now in Jesus' name. It's a lie. It's a deception. And God says that he knows how to rescue the godly from temptation. So rescue your daughter right now from the lies and the deception. Be free. Free in Jesus' name. Thank you, blessed Savior. Thank you for the love, Lord, that you're loving her back to life. There's no shame here. No shame at all. No condemnation. No guilt. No disgrace. He is not ashamed of you, daughter. You are the beloved daughter, and he loves you, and he's clothing you now with a white robe of purity right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for this spirit of deliverance, Lord God, that's setting the captive free in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Yeah, everybody just love on her right now. Okay, love on her. I want to give another minute or so, and then we're going to shift, okay? Because I, I, I'm really happy that you're pulling on the miracles. But I really feel like God's just, he's doing a lot more like inner healing. That's what he's doing. He's doing a lot of inner healing. Yeah. Yeah, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. As, as you love on this young lady is wonderful. You guys may begin to take your seats here. I'm not praying for anybody else right now, okay? Huh? You have a testimony. Okay, what's going on, man? I am 27 years old, and I have a problem with most of my body. I have eyes that I lose my vision every few months. The cells in my eyes are breaking down. I'm on four different medications with just my eyes. I have an esophageal problem that leaves me not being able to breathe well, asthmatic. I have a hiatal hernia, an umbilical hernia, and too many bowel problems. I have two numb toes that only hurt when they get hit or hurt or pained. But let me tell you something. Anxiety and depression has tried to kill me my entire life, along with my brother, my mother, and my sister, physically trying my whole life. But every day I wake up, I've got so much of his blood running through my body, through my veins. People ask me how I stand up here and jump in these heels, especially with two pain toes. But I let them know that it's just the blood of Jesus that has kept me from trying to leave this earth on my own. So I just want to let everybody know that if you're dealing with any of any ailments being so young is it could really take over because you think you're supposed to be running around nice and free but i am there's nothing that can tear me away yeah, that's right. nothing at all because the lord has took care of me my entire life and i'm the only one of my brothers and sisters who are not in dead in jail <laughs> Or doing the most. I am living for Jesus. Praise God. God bless you. How are you feeling right now? 
Look at me. Look at me. You're free. You're free. You are free. In Jesus' name. Yeah. In Jesus' name. How's your feet feeling right now? They feel good. You're still in these heels. Yeah. You said your 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 feet were numb. Yeah, what about now? I've been and walked in this door. When I walk in here, there's no pain. I just get up there and sing with all my people, all my family who sing up there with me, and we just enjoy each other. We just enjoy each other. I just feed off of their energy and everything that we do together. When I walk in here, I can't feel any pain. Just, just Jesus, the blood of Jesus just rolling through my body. That's it. That's it. Praise God. Bless you. Keep receiving, man. Keep receiving, all right? Amen. Bless you. Someone say hallelujah. Listen, uh, I, I want to share a little something. Just give me about five minutes, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna close here. Okay, you guys enjoying so far? You guys okay so far? What well, what well, we're 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 really I'm you know I'm so blessed and honored to be here, but we're really opening up some realms and dimensions. That's what I feel in the spirit. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, and you guys can remain here as long as you need to or want to. Is anybody blessed? Is anybody healed? You see, I believe that in the spirit and the glory, there is no time, there is no limitation, there is no distance. Okay. So there's a lot we can accomplish in, in two hours. There's a lot. I believe a nation can be born again in a day. But, you know, sometimes because of the gravity and the greatness of all that God's doing, sometimes, you know, add another day or two, three days. You know, just because of the gravity and the greatness regionally that's happening. And uh, I think it's wonderful. We're going to go to just real quick because I have to give you some more scripture. Otherwise, you guys are going to continue to call me other names. First Samuel 16. All right, I saw a vision of the Lord pouring out oil. And that was wonderful because the gentleman said he felt oil coming out of his hands. Of course you, because you're, you're a healing evangelist. And when you lay your hands on the blind, they will see. <laughs> yeah, some would say, this is not what I was expecting. Well, welcome to heaven. It's much better than you think. It's much more different than you thought. First Samuel 16, verse 11, Samuel said to Jesse, are all your sons here? He said, there remains yet the youngest, but behold, he is keeping the sheep. And Samuel said to Jesse, send and get him, for we will not sit down till he comes here. And he sent and brought him in. Now he was ruddy and had beautiful eyes and was handsome. And the Lord said, arise, anoint him, for this is he. Verse 13, then Samuel took the horn of oil, and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David from that day forward. And Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. Right around that passage, it says how God rejected Saul. Excuse me, how God rejected Saul. But also, he did not look at his older brothers, Eliab, Abinadab, and the rest. Praise God for the miracle he did with you, woman of God. Praise God. Amen. You too. Amen. Yeah. I was talking to a friend, but yeah, you too. Amen, yeah. Because <laughs> the Lord really met her in Harrisburg the other day. Yeah, yeah. But the Lord said he looks at the heart, not at the outward appearance. Again, February is a month of love. All these things that I already talked to you about established. So he is looking at the heart in this season, in this month. Okay? Yeah? So now I talked about Isaiah 22, 2, 2, and the keys of David and how God's unlocking things in the spirit. All right, amen? He's unlocking things in the spirit. And so here is David, and he gets anointed with oil. And I saw that the Lord was pouring out oil over this church. He is pouring out oil over this church. And the Bible says that, no, no, not that one. No, not that one. Not this person, not that person. 
but this person because I've seen your heart I've seen your heart well, somebody heard me today I've seen your heart I don't look at the outward appearance but I've seen your heart oh David so now I'm bringing you out from being a shepherd a worshiping boy and now I'm anointing you with the kingly anointing I saw the horn of oil being poured out over this church pastor Tim and the Lord is saying for years you've been worshiping and praying like David but now as the oil is being poured out today as the oil is being poured out you're going to begin to move in a kingly anointing which is the apostolic a whole new level of the kingly and the apostolic dimension I wish somebody here believed that word you see Samuel came and he said no not you no not you how would you feel if the, if the prophet of the Lord said not you but I'm telling you today that the prophet of the Lord is saying yes you yes who yes me yes you and the prophet came and he took out the flask the horn of oil and he poured it upon David's head and the Bible says that the spirit came upon him powerfully that word in Hebrew also means rushed upon when he poured out the oil it rushed upon David and he began to prosper he began to do supernatural works and deeds and miracles another translation for that is he advanced someone say advance the Lord is pouring out a kingly oil in this place today today all right whether, whether you understand it or not listen I know when the Lord moved and a lot of you guys are like what the heck just happened right now I could see it all over your eyes and face a lot of you're like what the heck just what what just happened right now was that real was that fake was that God was that flesh a lot of you're like oh, I don't I don't because that is a miracle realm and we did tap into a glory dimension but not so high as I wanted to but that's okay because we're building things in the spirit and as long as your lives are touched that's it that's great amen Whew. but he's pouring out an oil today because he says I've seen your heart what does the oil stand for purity holiness the month of February purify purification febrarium so he's pouring out an oil over you today people of God And he's causing you to destroy all your enemies. He's causing you to defeat all of your foes. As he pours an oil over you, you're going to prosper. You're going to advance. It's going to come rushing upon you. It's going to overtake you. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that the Lord actually left Saul. The Lord left Saul and came upon David. The Lord is taking woes on another person's church and he's bringing it to this church. The Lord is taking what was on another ministry in another region and he's bringing it to this ministry and into this region. Jesus said, whoever thinks he has will be taken away, but the one who has will be given much more. Someone say much more this church pastor Tim and Beth your ministry is being given much more he's saying I've seen you worship I've seen you pray I've seen you plow I've seen you obey and pay the price so now I'm going to anoint you before all the rest of your brothers all the rest of your sisters come on sister I'm going to anoint you I'm going to pour it out over you. It's going to rush upon you. You're going to advance. You're going to break through every wall, hindrance, limitation, and lie. And you're going to prosper. Rebecca Baba. You're going to walk in a kingly, apostolic dimension and anointing. Ha ha ha. No longer will you be the church that's known for just praise and worship. But you'll be known as a church that moves in an apostolic glory. 
David was transformed. When the oil hit his life, he was transformed. He moved from a shepherd worship boy who just sang psalms as a psalmist, but he was transformed and he began to move and act like a king. Come on. God is raising up kings and queens out of this house. People who understand how to chop and cut off the heads of Goliath and principalities. Oh, 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 oh. You know how to chop off the heads of principalities and Goliaths. He rushed, rushed upon him. I believe today the Lord's pouring out oil. He's pouring out oil over you. He's pouring out oil over this church. There's a transfiguration that's happening. Someone say hallelujah. There's a transfiguration that's happening. It's the oil people of God. I woke up this morning and all the words that I shared even up to now it has to do with this. He's pouring out oil and you're being transfigured and transformed. <sighs> 2 2 2 February 50 years Jubilee to Kansas City Chiefs. Apostolic Chiefs, Apostolic Glory, Kingly Apostolic Mantle Anointing. All the prophets, all the prophetic things that I shared and said up to now. He's doing it in this church. He's doing it with you. He's doing it for you. The Lord says that you know you've been increasing. You know that you've been expanding. You know that you have been growing. But there's a depth that you've been crying for. There is a depth that you've been longing for. You've been crying to go deeper. You've been crying and uh, you've been longing to go even deeper than ever before. Who am I talking to today in this church? You've been expanding. You've been growing. Things have been increasing and selling, but you've been longing to go deeper. And the Lord is about to take this church even deeper. You already know the story. After David was anointed, he went through years of persecution. And I'm not saying persecution is coming to you. But what I am saying is that the oil began to process him. The oil began to process him. And I believe right now that the Lord is saying, I'm taking you deeper. The oil is going to take you deeper. The new level, the new dimension is going to take you deeper. <laughs> it's going to take you deeper. It's taking you deeper in this place. Uh, I'm about to close in about five minutes here. If you've been blessed by our ministry, Benla Ministries, online, Elijah List, or words, I want you to wave your hand. I want you to wave your hand here. Yeah, praise God. Even Pastor Tim, God bless you, sir. Praise God. I want you to wave your hand if uh, you've been blessed today. I want you to wave your hand if you've been blessed today. Yeah. The Lord opened up a number of things. I know he did. I know he did. Holy Spirit. And now I want you to stand because I'm going to pray that the oil of favor on this Bu Tashiva, the 15th of Shavat, of the new year of the new trees, in February, the month of purity, purification. Revelation, manifestation, miracles. The mantles of the Kansas City prophets. I'm going to get the keyboard back up again because I'm about to close here. I'm praying today that you will feel the oil of the Holy Spirit come over you. And listen, baby boomers, I don't care about how old or how young you are. You will laugh again. The Lord has great need of you. Sarai was 99 years old and she laughed at God and said, can this dead body, can it still have a child? I want to tell all my baby boomer friends today, God is not done with you yet. 
The best is yet to come. You've seen nothing yet. You better start blessing your body. Stop cursing it. Start blessing. You better start taking care of your body. Because you still got another 10 more years, woman of God. You still got much more. You better start blessing your body. Because you got much more to do. Much further to go. You better bless your body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before, before I pray right now, it's been a great honor. Before I just release this corporate prayer, it's been a great honor. And I'm believing that the same prophetic and miracle flow and anointing that I walk in. And you're like, well, Pastor. Then it's not for you then. But the same prophetic miracle flow and anointing would come to you. Because today, he's pouring out oil over you. If you believe that, say amen. amen. I'm telling you guys, never be the same again. Never be the same again. Before I pray for you, I want to give away some free resources. Just bless you guys with some free gifts. Does anybody like free? Good, because see, you guys stayed this long, so at least you could get some free stuff, all right? But uh, I have my shirt here. It's called the Bam Fam. Does anybody follow our ministry? Bam, 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 Shaka Fam, bam, fam. There's a crown logo. All of our shirts are on sale for $25. And, uh, you know, Bam Fam is one of our brandings. And uh, so I just want to bless somebody with this free shirt. If it doesn't fit you, you know, you could get skinnier, all right? Or if it doesn't fit you, just go change the size at the table, all right? But all of our shirts are on sale for $25. Does anybody want to be part of the BAM fam here today? Anybody want to be? Anybody? Anybody? Who wants to be part of the BAM fam? Oh, bless you, man. All right, she stepped on up. And it is our second shirt here. It's our newest design about the greater, what is it, greater glory? Yeah. The greater glory. Oh, bless you. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. Good morning. Uh... Greater glory, we got the line of the tribe of Judah for 2 Chronicles 20, 20. The breakthrough roar of the lion, amen. Does anybody roar up in this place? Does anybody love to praise the Lord, all right? But this shirt is on sale as well for $20, $25. All the sales, it goes to our ministry. We believe in souls, evangelism, and stadium Christianity, all right? So this is on sale for $25. We have white, black, and gray, three different colors in this shirt. Does anybody want this shirt here today? Anybody, anybody? Oh, you let her have it. Bless you. All right, guys, I have my, uh, my second book. It's called The New Breed of Reformers, Revivalists, and Wonder Workers. Okay. Uh, this book came out of a 21-day revival we had in my church. All right. I've been a part of three extended moves of God, but we did 21 days straight of revival meetings, and the glory realm began to open up. Gemstones manifest, supernatural fragrance, gold dust. I mean, angels were shown. It was crazy. So this book was birthed out of a 21-day revival. It's my second book, you know. The new breed is something that even Bob Jones, the prophet, prophesied about, okay? But, uh, you know, Wesley Stacy Campbell wrote the forward to it. Ryan Lestrange, Jeff Jansen, you know, a lot of our mutual for Bishop Robert Stearns from New Jersey wrote an endorsement for it. But this is on sale for $15. Does anybody want a free copy of this today? Does anybody want to be a part of the new breed today? Anybody? All right, if you want to be a part of the new breed, you go and buy a copy. All right, you go and buy a copy. I'm going I'm to bless you. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bless you. You two get a free copy at the book table. All right, blessings. Did you hear that, ma'am? You're not happy about that? This is my first prophetic EP called Glory Impartations. I believe there's an impartation in the glory, not just the anointing, not just in power, but there's impartations in the glory. I have five prophetic tracks here. Um, and John Tussie, has anybody heard of John Tussie? He's known as a frequency man, all right? We co-produced this, uh, but so he releases frequencies and people get healed off of the frequencies, all right? And uh, so there's a whole science and, and a spiritual understanding behind it. But this is on sale for $15, all of my EPs. I have five tracks, Spirit of Acceleration, Liberation, Healing Waves, Miraculous Flow. You will encounter the Lord as you hear these prophetic decrees, all right? So this is on sale for $15. Does anybody want this today? Anybody need this today? Anybody, anybody? Oh, bless you, bless you. All right, I'm going to give this to you here. This is my second one called Heavenly Decrees. All right, it's one thing to decree from the earth. It's another thing to decree from the heavenly realm. All right, decree a thing and it shall be. 
Come on, decree a thing and it shall be. So this is my second prophetic EP with John Tussie as well called Heavenly Decrees, okay? I believe God is decreeing things from the throne of God. And then these are five tracks that I believe I heard the Lord and we prophesied it on these five tracks. Does anybody want a copy of this? This is on sale for $15. Anybody? All right, so go and purchase it at the table. All right, God bless you, man. God bless you, all right? So give the Lord a big mighty shout here. Before I pass the mic back to Pastor Tim, I want to thank you again. Thank you for having me. Um, you know, I'm sorry if you were offended. Um, you know, but the Lord will deal with you as he deals with me and as he deals with all of us. But I'm very honored to be here right after this. I am. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to take my Bible in my bed and I'm going to sleep like a baby. Amen. Bless you. According to your faith, we agree in Jesus' name. Bam! Thank you. Ho! So it's been a great honor being here, guys. I will be at the book table for another uh, 15 minutes. i got to leave soon, too, because I'm flying back. I'm flying out to L.A. to be in my church. I pastor three churches in Southern California. All right? But I love you guys. It's been a great honor. Thank you, Pastor Tim and Beth. We appreciate you. And um, this is just the beginning. Amen? Listen, lift up your hands. I want to release a corporate prayer. Father, I pray right now. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Mashiach, which means the most holy and the most anointed one. God, I pray today that the same anointing for prophecy, creative miracles, for advancement, for prosperity and success. I pray that the oil of favor will come down. I break open the flask of heaven, the horn of God, and I break open that shofar and I say release the oil over New Beginnings Church. Release the oil over Pensauk in New Jersey, over Philadelphia, God. Release the oil oil in this region and I thank you that you have seen this church. They will not be denied. They will not be rejected. Even though that people have said certain things but you have seen their heart. So therefore you will anoint them before all the rest and you are moving them in a kingly and an apostolic anointing and glory. So God today I pray let your hand of favor, let it touch them now, let it bless them now. Smear, rub, break, pour open now 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 let there be a corporate glory and an upgrade in the spirit in Jesus name give the Lord a big mighty shout come on Jesus wow we are definitely in a special season you know that God is aligning ministries together uh, people together and you just feel like this commonality in the kingdom of God where we're all uh, have the same expectation and we're all speaking the same language so we're going to take a special offering right now for Ben um, give generously to the man of God and to the move of God uh, sow into your future I find that that's how we got this building remember we started sowing into Israel and boom you know if you bless me I'll bless you bango that God opens this door so we know the power of giving and we know the power of sowing into anointed moves of God. So let's just pray for the, the giving right now. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your servant, your son. I thank you, Father, for the rich deposit and impartation today, Lord. I thank you for the horn of oil, Lord, that's been released here, Lord Jesus. And I thank you, Father, for him, Lord. And we just pray uh, a, a fresh season, Lord, I, just like a mighty wind under his wings, Lord. You said... He would, he would rise up with uh, wings as eagles, Lord. But, but Ben, I just see you like, it's like the updraft of revelation knowledge that's coming to you is going to take, it's like your wings are growing larger as the revelations uh, lift you higher. And, and what the Lord has shown, it's, it's even though he's the, the, your ministry makes demands on you, you're not going to be exhausted by it. You're just going to be soaring under the revelations that he's given you as his son. So I just see these wings growing and growing uh, and, uh, and, and this season of, of impartation, of revelation, of wisdom will just ascend you higher and higher into his glory and into his kingdom and having a greater impact in the body of Christ. So Lord, we bless his destiny in you now, Father, in Jesus' name.
And we thank you, Father, for the great fruit that's going to come out of his life, Lord. You said that unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains by itself alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. And this boy has laid his life down for you, Lord God. And his life will bear much fruit for the glory of God and the kingdom of God. Can you say amen, everybody? Amen. amen. Okay, you can use the text to give or the uh, online thing. Make your checks out to New Beginnings Community Church, and we'll write one for him. So, Father, we just thank you for this amazing day. I thank you, Lord, that you do prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies, Lord. And you crushed enemies today, Lord God. You crushed the fears. You crushed the sickness. You crushed the disease, Lord God, the affirmities, Lord God. You prepared this healing table for us today, Lord God, and that you fed us, Lord God, and crushed all of the works of the of darkness here today, Father. And we rejoice in your marvelous kingdom and in your amazing victory. Can you say any amen, everybody? Give the Lord a shout. Clap your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God bless you, everyone. Have a great day.